My name is Gillian Rao. I come from South Africa. I immigrated to beautiful Kelowna and I've been here about 13 years now. I always, 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 always wanted to be an artist. I used to sketch little bits of paper. My best thing was to be given a blank piece of paper and a lovely soft pencil. I create art because I absolutely love it. I've loved it from probably from the age of nine when I did my first drawing and won my first art competition. Um, it was a whole year's lessons. So as a nine-year-old, that was just so amazing. I just love colors. I love composition. I love being in the country and photographing reference work for my artwork. And I love teaching and spreading the joy with everyone else. I've been blessed with a, a sense of color. I remember when my brother, who's four years older than me, was taking arts at school and he just couldn't mix his colors. So his little sister got hauled into his room and I mixed his colors for him so that he could paint. So I'm just very grateful, very, very grateful for the fact that I can see colors and know what to do with them and understand them. I was always a stay-at-home artist. It seemed to happen then that I was commissioned to paint a whole lot of retirement um, gifts paintings for people who were immigrating overseas. And when it came time for me to apply for a visa, I was asked if I would do it or would like to do it under my art. And I was quite shocked. I was one of two artists from the whole of South Africa that actually got that in that year. And so now I'm in beautiful Kelowna and I'm teaching art. I love flower arranging. I love cake decorating. There's a whole lot of art that happens in my life. But what I love the most is obviously painting. And I paint in the style of realism, impressionism. So I always like to tell the truth. That's the realism. But the impressionism is those lovely loose strokes and joyous movements and everlasting happiness when you look at that because it allows the brain to kind of work out what the story is with those contemporary marks. And of course, the limited palette that I use goes in every room. The painting talks to itself. The colors talk to each other. And so you get the spontaneous joy of, of looking at it rather than just reading the story in realism as it is. I've chosen to use oils. I've used every other medium I've tried. I've done watercolor, I've done acrylics, I've done mixed media, but fell in love with oils. I use oil paints because oils, the colors, the pigments are actually mined. They're from the earth, they're minerals. That's when you see in a painting that shimmer of light and color in a painting, which you get in oils, but you don't get in the other medium as much because it's actually that shimmering electron microscope, beautiful sand that's ground down into those pigments. It's just a complete and utter love affair. I used to use boards and now I use canvases and really, really good quality canvases with proper back framing, nice taut canvas. I pay quite a bit more for them, but it's worth it because some of these paintings will be a heritage piece and they might have to last for 100 years or 200 years. So always do your very, very best with the very, very best paints, brushes and canvases. The painting I'm working on at the moment is a scene near, it's a place called Mission Creek that I often walk down. It's just beautiful, dappled leaves and running water and it's just stunning, quiet, serene. And across the creek, there's a set of stairs going right down into the water with a lovely sort of beaten up path and, and trees nearby. I've taken several photographs over a couple of years, different times of the year, and I just thought, I have to paint that. It's a story. People must have gone down those stairs. Was it children? Was it adults? Did they paddle? Did they take a boat? So that's what I'm working on at the moment, and just 
loving visiting within the painting because every time I do, I feel like I'm walking the creek again. One of my biggest challenges, believed or not, is not having a big enough car to get in a big enough canvas to paint a big enough painting. I would love to be able to do that. <laughs> I spent a lot of my time doing commissions and so my body of work is sold automatically pretty much. So my big goal now is to build up a body of work that I can submit for signature status to the Federation of Canadian Artists. You can learn more about me on my website. It's julianrowstudios.com. I run adult classes and workshops and we just have a ton of fun. <laughs>